strong. And how there are different forces like gravity, which is pulling things down. Gravity! Or velocity, which is how fast things are moving forward. Now, we're going to talk about these forces, these forces which are pushing up, and these forces that are pulling down. And we're going to add one more thing. We're going to add pressure. 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 This idea of pressure, really super easy. All we have is a certain force. A force is a push. Or a pull. So, with a force is a push of a pull, we have this area here of Oliver, Oliver Puss. So Oliver Puss has a certain area and he's going to exert a force, a push. But, not very much pressure on my face because the area of his hand is quite big. So, because the area of his hand is quite big, it means that there's not very much pressure on my face. Now, Oliver Puss, he's created a, a much smaller area, look, much smaller area. So now the, 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 the force, the pressure is bigger, even though the force is the same. Because pressure is equal to force divided by area. So when Oliver Puss has his book, look, his book got quite a large area. He put some force against it and the pressure is not that great. My, my head feeling pretty fine. But if Oliver Puss were to find something with much smaller area, then even with a small amount of force, it would be uh, a lot more painful. And now, the experiment. We're going to do this look is we've got an egg. We're going to drop our egg. Ah! Oh, our egg is broken. Oh no! Why does my egg break? There's too much force. Great. Too much force is definitely going to be playing a big part here. Huh? Why is there too much force? Teacher, teacher, it's about the force. And the acceleration of the ball, teacher. We should make the egg have less mass. Yeah, definitely. The mass of the egg being pulled down by gravity is a big reason that my egg is breaking. I don't know if I could have my egg have less mass, though. I, I don't know if that's possible, really. What else could I do? Well, if you cannot change mass, you must change acceleration. Make the egg accelerate as quickly. Yeah, re reducing the acceleration of the egg definitely makes a lot of sense. Let's think about how to do that now. Well, I mean, that wasn't enough, but it was a little bit better. What else could we do to try to make my egg not oh, teacher, smash? Teacher, teacher, teacher! We could reduce the pressure, teacher! We could spread it out somehow! Genius, uh-huh. So, we're going to think about forces. I think like a pile of books. Each extra book is like a bit of extra force on my egg. I will need five books of force to break my egg. So, one egg, one bit of force, my egg is fine. Two books of force, 
Apples, I guess you'll find. Three bucks. Four bucks. Five bucks. Any more than five? Ah, uh, cool. My egg is broken. So, if I don't want my egg to break, I could use a parachute to increase drag, so they take away some books. Now, my egg will not break. But, pressure is a different idea. It's about spreading out the books, not about taking, having fewer books. Here, look. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine books. Enough force, clearly, to break my egg, but as they are spread out, it means my egg will not break. So, my hypothesis is that if I use a series of tubes, I can spread out the force, reducing the pressure, and making my egg not break. As always, I need my super assistant, Super Oliver Puss, who is super fast at making things. So he's going to try to make this thing. He's going to make it into a tube. You ready, Oliver Puss? Two. Yeah. Oh, done. Got it into the tube. Well done. Then we need to attach our tubes to our egg. Quickly, go. You ready, Oliver Puss? Zip. 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 Good work there, Oliver Puss. Nice, created these little tubes in order to try to spread that force out. Stick it to my parachute. Oh, we're just about done. Remember that force equal to mass times acceleration. More mass, more force, more acceleration, more force. Put a parachute in and have less acceleration. And have less force. Remember that, that pressure is force divided by area, so more area, less pressure. Oh, teacher, 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 what about variables and measurable outcomes, teacher? Right, it's a good point, Jack Azad. Uh, I think here our variable will be things like have a parachute don't have a parachute, or have tubes, don't have tubes. Or something else that you're going to try to vary one of these forces that is at play. Measurable outcome. Does your egg break is the obvious one. Although obviously it cannot be measured unless you fancied uh, some kind of scale of breakage that you wanted to make, which would be super cool, but... Uh... <laughs> Share a video of you and your egg. Were you a success or a failure? Like the video!